Hello my friends, welcome back. Today's another video and it's time for the income report for September. This is when it gets not so fun when you have a seasonal niche like mine. Now granted, I still made great money this month um, and to put it in perspective, I'll show you how it was this month last year and how much it's grown in that time, which is always motivating. But at the end of the day, um, you like to see your numbers stay consistent, especially when it comes to income. And when you have a seasonal niche, it's not the funnest thing in the world to watch it dive down, but it's extra fun to watch it go back up in the uh, spring. So it ebbs, it flows, it comes, it goes. But nonetheless, today we're here to talk numbers and income. So let's jump right into it. All right, so some quick updates about this website. Um, I tend sometimes in my past, woo, sometimes in the past, I have just jumped right into the numbers of the website and the traffic. And I always get comments that say like, how many articles, how old is the site, how it's the average length, all of that stuff. So I figured I'll give a quick synopsis of that real quick. The site is two years old. We just had a birthday. I started this site towards the end of September, 2020, 2020. Article count right now is at 251 with the majority of those being informational. I'd say the average word count is around 1400. Most of the informationals are about 1100. Money posts, some of them are 2000, 3000, but because of that 80, 20 split, I'd say we're around 1400 average word count. There's no science involved in that. That's just my my crappy math. All right, let's look at analytics. I'm going to show you two graphs. One is Google Analytics, and then the other one is big data. And there's a reason why. I was doing some tinkering with my theme. I know, dumb. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. But I keep doing it. And when I did, I lost a week or two of correct Google Analytics. So what Google Analytics shows for this month, you see it trailing off, that's where I screwed everything up. Um, It shows I had 63,000 page views with just over 51 or to 52,000 sessions. But if we go into big data analytics, which generally does a good job, um, it shows I had basically 57,000 visitors with 71,000 page views. And I think that's probably about right. It's a pretty significant drop from last month, maybe 20, 30%. People are getting ready for the holidays, um, school, family trips, just grilling's kind of a back thought right now and it'll fire back up in March. So let me zoom out here. And as you see, my impressions have always run concurrent with my clicks as far as the trend lines. Um, And then all of a sudden this month, I have this giant spike of impressions um, with my traffic still being that consistent seasonal dip. But then all of a sudden the impressions just ramp right up. And if I look at my average position, it also shot up. The only thing I can attribute that to is in the last two to three months, I've received some insanely good, powerful backlinks because I use the Haro service from Niche Website Builders. There's a video here if you want to watch that. But anyway, we're talking backlinks from Yahoo style, New York Magazine, The Strategist, The Spruce Eats, um, Better Homes and Gardens, some really, really big, powerful backlinks. And... I'm guessing maybe that's why all of a sudden I have a big spike in traffic. Um, I don't think it's from the algorithm. This looks to be about 30 days after that algorithm was put in, or at least a few weeks after the algorithm. I don't know. I'm going to stop trying to say I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm going to watch it and we'll see together and I'll let you know. This could all just fall on my face next week. All right. So Ezoic earned $2,319.79 with a $35.41 EPMV overall. Um, that's including two smaller sites that I just recently put ads on, but they're not they are not a ton of money. They made combined, you know, 150 bucks. So the majority of the income came from my grilling site. And if you look at the grilling site specifically, it accounted for $2,100 or $2,200 of that money. And it's at an almost $39 EPMV. Ezoic is killing it. All right, so on to money because that's what matters the most. All right, so Ezoic total earned $2,319.80 with a $35 EPMV. Specifically, the EPMV for the grilling site was at $38.80, basically $39. Amazon was $351.21, which is definitely down, but so is traffic. Um, My conversion rate is still great at 13 something percent with Amazon, so I'll take it. Avot Link had $158.00. Affility or Affinity or Affiliate, whatever it's called, um, paid me $313, which is a smaller affiliate program through one specific grill manufacturer. And then a, a sponsored deal has $400. Bring my total revenue for the month of September to $3,542.24. So, hope this was helpful. Hope this has motivated those of you who are just starting out. Oh, 
What did I make this time last year? So my grilling site last year, wow, it made $1,070 from Ezoic last year, this month. And Avant Link made $80 and Amazon made $300 for a total revenue September 2021 of $1,772.67. So essentially, again, we have doubled our income. My highest month this year was double what it was last year. My current month this year is double what it was last year. And do I think about selling? Of course I think about selling because that's a quick 150,000 bucks in my pocket. Um, and with Motion Invest, they just dropped all their fees down to like, at that level, it'd be like five and a quarter percent or five and a half percent, which is an awesome commission rate. So yes, I think about selling my site all the time because who knows what happens next year if there's an update and I just get left behind, I'll kick myself. In return, if my website shoots off next summer and does 300,000 page views and I would have doubled again, well, then I kick myself for selling it now. So it's a catch 22 no matter what. Anyway, I have chatted long enough. I'm going to shut up, let you guys go, and we'll catch you on the next video.